In every camera announcement, on every camera box, we see something about contrast, phase, or hybrid autofocus systems and a massive number of autofocus points. So what are these focus systems? How do these work? Find out about the mechanics and science behind the contrast detection system in today's video. If you shot in manual focus, what do you do? First you make big spins around the ring, then smaller rounds. As we run these rounds, we look for the sharpest edge of our subject, and that is when we find the sweet spot. That's exactly how contrast detection autofocus works. Just like us, the focus motors rock back and forth until the edge has the most contrast. In other words, it becomes the sharpest, but you already knew that, so let's take a deeper dive behind the mechanics. Unlike other autofocus technologies, contrast detection has no bells and whistles, no AF unit, no image comparison or prediction. Then how does it work? The tech is getting all the information from the image sensor. The image sensor analyzes the entire scene, every focus point from edge to edge. This continuous flow of information is then used by the focus motor. It spins in one direction and checks if the image is sharpening or not. If it isn't, it makes round in the opposite direction. And this goes on until the subject is sharp. Even if the subject is in the dead middle and the focus is on point, the focus motor will go back and forth just a bit to be extra sure. However, unlike the phase detection system, it can't say if the subject has moved forward or not and make micro adjustments. So instead, the sensor reads the room again, the focus motors make rounds, and you find the subject in focus. That's how the contrast autofocus works mechanically. What about the science behind it? Let's take a look at that. When the image sensor analyzes the scene, it actually looks at the different brightness and colors. The theory is that the point of focus will have the highest contrast compared to the neighboring areas. In other words, the focus point will have different lighting and more intense colors. Overall, the sensor analyzes the scene, understands the light, colors, and compares the brighter parts to the darker corners. You should keep that in mind regardless of the autofocus tech baked into your camera all of them will suffer to a certain degree in a low light situation. For example, take a picture of a red box against a yellow, blue, or black background. Your camera will quickly detect where it needs to put its attention, but try to take a picture of a black pen on a black backpack, the snappiness drops, and the camera needs some time before it can focus on the subject. This phenomenon is what we call focus hunting. As you can tell, there are no fancy gizmos with the contrast detection system. But you shouldn't doubt this tech, it does some things better than other autofocus systems. Two of the biggest advantages of contrast detection AF are accuracy and massive image information. Since the sensor scans everything every time it needs to readjust the focus, you're getting top-notch accuracy and rarely inaccurate. On top of that, if your camera packs more AF points, the more accurate the focus will be. As for image information, it also is the result of scanning the entire scene, so you can get info from every part of the scene and focus on a certain point. That's why we see contrast detection innovation for face and eye detection, whether you're friends or pets. Now this autofocus system isn't without its flaws. It's a fairly old system, have been used in most DSLRs out there. A phase detection system was designed to get out of this system. So what are the issues? Let's see. While when you're shooting stills and landscapes, the accuracy is perfect, that's not the case for moving objects. The phase detection system understands that if it's front facing or back focusing, it makes all the necessary micro adjustments to get the focus right. That's not the case with contrast detection. It rereads the entire scene and focuses again. So if the subject is rapidly moving, it will have trouble keeping up. So even though there have been innovations, it still is not faster than phase and hybrid systems. That brings us to the second problem. The contrast AF system is slow and painfully so in older DSLRs. After all, going through all those AF points is time consuming. Again, in older cameras, you can hear the motor spinning to catch up. On top of that, 
Churning these numbers and making rounds around the focus ring means the battery is draining faster, especially if you're using a heavier lens. Then there's the focus hunting issue, especially found in older cameras. For example, suppose the image sensor can't differentiate between the subject and background clearly. In that case, it will keep hunting to get the focus right. The question isn't how many innovations after will it catch up to phase detection, but rather how long before it becomes obsolete. Now we know the mechanics, the science, the pros and the cons. So who will use it? Well, the answer is very simple. It's perfect for those whose subject doesn't move too much. So if you're shooting stills, products and portraits, this autofocus system can support your work adequately. Besides these, if you're shooting landscape, this autofocus system works best too. All in all, the contrast detection autofocus system uses lights and colors to find the sweet spot to focus. Admittedly, it's an old system, but even this old dog knows some new tricks. Maybe in the distant future, it will be a relic. Only time can tell. For now, let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, keep your eyes peeled for our video on the phase detection system.